To look at me, you would perhaps think that I am 37. But no, I am much older than 37. Much, much older. I am 41 years old. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not 41 years old. I am much older than this as well. I am 42 years old. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I am, in fact, 53 years old. <laughs> no, I'm not 53 years old. I am joking you. I am considerably older than this. My real age is 81 years old. No. I am, in fact, 82. No, I'm joking about that. In fact, I am much younger. I am 12. Yes, I am a 12-year-old girl trapped inside a 37-year-old man's body. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I am not a girl, as you can see. I am a man, an old, old man. So my real age, well, let's see, I was born in 1892, oh, 1982, no, 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 1841 was my year of birth. So that would make me 41, 49 plus 112 equals 153 years old. When the vampire sees a crucifix for the first time, there is a feeling of revulsion, like all your nerves trying to jump out of your body. When someone holds up a crucifix to my face, I go <laughs> like this. Or perhaps if I'm trying to look, trying to pretend that it is not an issue for me, I will go <laughs> like this, trying to hide the revulsion. So um, basically myself and Officer Minogue had responded to a call. There had been report, reports of a disturbance, um, and so we came to check it out. There'd been perhaps some reports of a forced entry, um, a lot of loud noise, perhaps even some shrieking, and also a fire and some smoke was seen coming out of the building, so some pretty serious stuff. When we arrived at the scene in Melita, and it was obviously they were having some sort of a party, um, so we wanted to conduct a thorough search just to see what was going on. Um, what we did find, however, was that um, the party had perhaps got a little bit out of control. Okay, I mean there was a there was a guy down there that had broken into the party through a window. He was on the floor, passed out. I mean he was he was absolutely drunk. He looked terrible. He was slaughtered. I mean, any time we find someone passed out cold underneath a large slab of concrete, sort of mm. looks a little bit suspicious. Well, it's just, I mean, that's our job, isn't it? We're here to look after people and, and help serve the community. And I just think those people are really down there, mate, you know, by not actually looking after them and, and keeping an eye on them. I can see they were having a great time, but at the end of the day, him passed out there on the ground, it's just not a good look. And I think, you know, we were pretty serious when we were talking to them about their responsibility as hosts. And I just really hope that for their next party or indoor barbecue or whatever it is that they're going to have next weekend, that they actually take that into consideration and think about looking after their friends and, and just being a little bit more a little bit more aware of some health and safety issues, which I think were severely lacking. Um, I mean, like I said, there were a couple of other issues that we did raise with them, nothing too major, and we've let them off with a warning tonight. But um, to be honest, I really hope that they actually take some of that feedback on board and, and just think about well, their own behaviour and, and the way they've got that house set up and, and just the way they look after each other. Um, so like I said, severe warning for them. Hopefully we won't be back in the future and um, yeah, hopefully we won't come across another party like that tonight. We should probably go. Yeah, probably, yeah, you're right.
can't reach the pedals. Yeah. I'm sorry. Bloody thing. Sorry. Uh, my name is Ian. I'm what most people would call a, a zombie. Um, I prefer to refer to us, us and others as, as the brain-eating community, because uh, I think that's a more dignified term. <clears throat> and um, basically, we are the living dead, but we we are kind of decomposing living dead. And yeah, um, I think it's really good for everyone to get together and have a bit of fun. I've, I've noticed some, some, of the, some of the undead here are having some fun tonight and I, I know I'm really enjoying myself, so it's good to just network. We tend to get a bit overlooked, you know, the, the, we're not as glamorous as the vampires or the werewolves or anyone like that. We just people, you know, there's a lot of kind of, oh, oh, I thought, you know, I thought you got that, that email or, or, or something, but just, you know, kind of, we don't, you find out about these things afterwards. So, um, you know, we, we, you know, I don't want to be thin skinned about it because quite a lot of my skin is gone already, but, um, it's just, you know, we, you know, it, it, we just tend to get left out, and I don't know why, but it's because we, you know, we, we can party as, as well as anyone else, uh, given, given half a chance. I've, I've got f fewer friends now than I, than I did have, because I, the, I've, I've killed quite a lot of them, and, and I just, yeah, I, I, you know, you, it, you know how it is, you kind of, you get hungry and and someone drops in and and you know before you know it you've kind of pulled their head off and and you're just feasting mindlessly and um, and that can just really ruin a friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. I think people don't recognise the zombie community for the the rich and vibrant group of of zombies that we are. I think that people tend to see us as be all going round, kind of going, and, you know, we're, we're not like that. Well, quite quite a lot of us, because even if we're not doing that, we we we, we do tend to sort of lurch and shuffle, and um, and so people we, we're not as good as, as the vampires are at say you know running down victims. Uh, victims tend to be really slow moving, so we. Um, that, that can be a bit embarrassing because sometimes people, you know, we, you go to chase someone and they just kind of run away and laugh at you, which is just... Yeah, that, that's a bit frustrating, I suppose, yes. Yeah, yeah. Unless they trip over, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think people sort of overlook us. I, I, you know, I'm not, not saying, not looking at anyone in particular, but some, some people in the undead community do look down on us and I think you know um, I don't I'm not not very happy with that I think that uh, just <clears throat> probably the the rotting smell can be a, an issue for, for some people um, but you know that's just that's that's how it is we 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 just smell bad and and you know um, I think that the defining characteristic of, of zombies or, or brain eaters is our bubbly personalities. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ich bin ein Vampir. Which means, I am a vampire. I was born in 1795. The same year that some other really important things were happening in Europe. The French Revolution, 
It's the invention of long pants. My father owned most of the horses in the country. He had seven of them. Three were black, two were brown, and the other two were miscellaneous. My mother was an exotic performer with the Egyptian circus, which is how I get my exotic Egyptian looks. She could impersonate the sound of almost anything. Paper ripping, a hat falling off onto the ground. She could impersonate a man describing a lion, but the man had never seen a lion before. It was a giant beast with a big scarf on. Vampires have the ability to transform into all manner of creatures, mainly creatures of the night, like bats and possums, rats, hedgehogs. We can also change into mist. I love changing into mist. Lots of people think, oh, it's just, you're just changing into a cloud and that's easy, but I really like it. It's really, it just makes you feel really light and fluffy. Mist is also a really great way of attacking a victim. You just start sailing up to them and they're like, oh, bloody dad, this is just a normal evening. What a lovely evening for a stroll. Oh, how funny, look at that. A trail of mist making its way towards me. Oh, swirling and swirling around my feet. What a funny little mist. And just thinking, this is not the kind of season for mist. This, I thought you got mist more in the middle of winter or in August. And then, then the mist gets up, swirls up more up around their legs and more and more mist. And like, what a funny, playful mist is this? I, I really like this mist. Hey, little mist, you're cool. And then poof, he turns into a vampire and bites him on the neck. And then they say, oh, drats, that was a vampire mist. Should I wear the cloak? Because it's very sort of classic Lord thing, or is it more romantic so sort of Lord Byron kind of thing? So I've been told I look like Lord Byron a bit, kind of. I've also, someone told me I look like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> being undead is, it's, it's the same as being alive, except that every part of you is dead. Without luck, night and um, had a very good time. I tended to a dog and had sex. <laughs> I suppose you want to know my story. What am I? I am a vampire. My name is Viago. I am. I am a vampire. My name is Deacon Bruch. I am a vampire. <sighs> we vampires live in the shadows, hide in the shadows, hunt in the shadows, and. What other things do we do in the shadows? We go shopping sometimes in the shadows or uh, make love in the shadows.
are normal. We are people just like you, except that we're undead and we can't feel anything and we sleep in coffins. Well, I was bitten by another vampire. That's the way you become a vampire. For me, it, uh, uh, what happened? I am approximately 700 years old. I don't know exactly either 700 or 700 and what, because my mom forgot when I was born. Uh, it was a long time ago now, uh, something like 200 years ago. Uh, I was 29, so I'm always looking 29. Uh, I'm a vampire, like my father before me. He too was a vampire. My mother made cakes. To look at me, you would think I'm 33. But I'm not. I'm much older. I'm 35. Though I'm joking. I'm actually much younger. I'm 34. <laughs> no, no. I'm joking. I'm not 34. I'm 15. Yes, 15. No, no, I'm not 15. I'm actually 10, a 10 year old boy in the body of a man. No, because I'm joking, you see. I'm actually 107. That's 30 for 34. Let's see, that's 34 human years. 34 human years plus so how, how many odd vampire years? 17, 107, 103 vampire years. Which makes it 107. A lot of vampires take the form of a bat. Because it's kind of scary. I can change into a bat or mist. Volvis is really good. He can change into lots of different things. He's had more practice. I think he just is more into it. I can metamorphosize, become other creatures. My body can take other forms, like a duck. He can change into things like uh, cats and wolves and bats and um, horses or a cow. Good question. What happens to the clothes when you turn into an animal? I have no idea. Deacon and Volvus are my friend vampires. They, we all live here in this flat. The thing is, this situation that we're in at the moment with Deacon, Viago and I are flatting together in New Zealand. It's, to tell you the truth, it's not ideal. Because, you know, we all used to having amazing luxury to have to live in this flatting situation. I don't know, I just feel like I'm the only one who does, you know, anything around here to make the house look nice. I know you guys do things. Like, like I when, did, this yeah, is tonight. Yeah, you did, but you had to be asked, you know, like, there's a roster in place, which I made with felt tips. I mean, I put effort into that to make housework a fun yeah. thing you know for all the yeah. you know and like each week we have a different yeah. job yes we have flat chores but unlike humans we do them at night deacon i don't want to single you out but you have to pull your weight here okay i did your job last week and the week before i did your job and 
No, I mean, what, I don't mind doing it job? because I like to live in a clean flat, but... What you, did you do with my job? Well, last week I put out the recycling. Yeah, we share our responsibilities. We roster, of course, in a flatting situation. I am vacuuming the floors this week. Uh, Viago, uh, he has to empty the trough of blood that we have in the front yard. And Deacon is washing the dishes this week. And he also has to mow the lawn. He has to do two this week because last week he didn't do the dishes. Okay, that's done. I guess I'm the one who likes to keep the house looking good. You know, I don't think that just because, you know, we cannot die means we shouldn't make an effort to keep up appearances, you know. There was a lot the, of shit the in the fridge. I do the fridge sometimes yeah. when I'm roasted on the Yeah, you do, I, I know, you sure do do that. I, I, I mean, we're do. all good, but we could be better at this. I mean, you know, it's... You know, I haven't washed this shower for about 20 years. That is something that needs to be done weekly. <laughs> no, I know, yeah, I think, said, you know, it's just hard for me, because I used to be yeah, royalty for yeah. me to have to, uh, you know, take the corpse out of the dryer. But why well, was yeah, there a corpse okay. in the, why yeah, was there a corpse in the dryer? Just because we're undead so doesn't mean no, whose that blood reminds is, me whose though. Blood is that on the on the bench? Yours! It's yours! It's your blood! <laughs> it's my blood yes. on the bench! It's your victim that you hit. Yeah. Viago put that note on there right. for you to and we were saying Will he notice? And it's been there uh, no, for seven days. No, you haven't noticed. You did all the other dishes and did steal this bloody pot. <laughs> this bloody pot is right there. over there. You're the only person who's like doing messy things like this. We are vampires. No, you know? Vampires. We're fucking vampires. I was going to have it. After a week. You leave no, the blood no, on the I bench it there for it's someone else to have the blood if they wanted it. No one had it, so I. It's coagulating in the bottom. Yes, I'm saying I left it for you guys, and no one had it. I'm so... not eating that weak old blood. No, I'm not saying eat it now. I'll, I'll clean the blood. When I look into a mirror, and I am wearing my clothes. Why don't my clothes show in the mirror? I have no idea. Pretty much anything with that is shiny or has a ref, uh, reflects things, I, you'll never see me in it. Uh, mirrors, um, windows, um, water, um, teapots. Um, shiny like spoons. Ooh, how freaky and macabre! A floating cup. Who would have thought it possible? <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you know, sometimes it gets a little bit, a little bit boring. With some vampires, it drives me fucking nuts. Because they always talk about the same thing. Blood. Uh, oh, when are we going to get some more blood? Oh, check out the virgin. Oh, let's get some more virgin blood. Um, oh, look out for the sunlight. Oh, did you see that crucifix down on Cuba Street? Man, I freaked out about that. Oh, what? You know, it's just always the same stuff. This stage... We are on the top of the cliff, and the werewolf is like on. You can sort of see it uh, against the moon, like this. Like he's uh, standing at the top of the cliff, and he's looking down at me. So it's sort of the situation of me, him, the sea, and and you know all the scars have healed up. And I look at him in his werewolf eyes. I just look at him, and do you go? Do you know what I say to him? Bite, bite this. this, bite this. Have I told you this story? <laughs> yes. 
Yes, you told me this story. I didn't tell you that story. I didn't tell you that story. I well, I didn't know. I forgot that I had told you that. <laughs> well, story. you did. Yeah. I mean, it's a good story. It's okay. I like to listen to it. It's, it's an ideal story for a film too. You know, the quintessential story of the two un unholy beasts at war. Now you have like an interesting. Kind of Tell that story again about um, when you were a Nazi. I get bored with my friends. No. Actually, I get quite a little bored with Nick. There are some vampires who don't like sleeping in coffins because they think it's too morbid. I guess. Oh, Nick, hey. Hi, hey, man, how's it going? Good. Yeah, what are you up to? Oh, what are you guys up to? Uh, just, they're just doing a documentary on vampires. Yeah. Vampires? Uh, TV people. Anybody else? Any other vampires in it? Yeah, it's me, it's Volvus and Deacon. Yeah, it's just like cool. That's guys, so you're just following us around so I can expose on vampires. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm Nick. It's Nick. You're a vampire as well. Did I know I'm a vampire? I do now. You know, some of the other guys don't like him. You know, he's kind of pretentious. He wears. Like, he wears all the old clothes like us, like, you know, Renaissance sort of kind of fashion, but, you know, he, he was born in, like, 1980. Sorry, about Tim. It's Nick. He's young. He's a young vampire. He's, he looks about 25. Um, he's 27. He's... Been a vampire for two years. He floats around outside the window. He doesn't come through the front door. What is that? Vampires are not the only creatures of the night. The spawn of darkness. There are other supernatural creatures that walk amongst the living. There are werewolves, men or women, with the ability to change into a wolf. Were, meaning man, and wolf, self-explanatory. Not only were wolves, were horses. Men who change into horses. There were geese who change into geese. There are men and then there are geese. Not on the full moon, but on like on the quarter moon, they turn, turn into a goose. They are not very scary though. In some parts of Mongolia, there are tales of were women. There are men who can change into women. That's scary. When you are a vampire, you have to look good. You, you've got to dress well. But I like to mix it up. We all like to, because we've lived so long. I went through a phase of wearing just like very casual stuff tracksuit and Tommy heel figure. I've got the cowboy boots and I've got the cool cowboy belt with the buckle with the guns on it. That's the biggest problem uh, for a vampire is then not having a re reflection. I can never tell how I look. It's no good going into town you know and like you've got meat in your teeth 
or you know the hairs all crazy or you know like the the color of the shirt doesn't go with their skin makes them look too dead I mean how are you possibly going to find that out unless you have someone to tell you is it too much wait let me see yeah I trust the other guys to give me an honest opinion about you know how I will look sure like that's not too good. What does it look like? It looks really good. It feels pretty good. You must have a lot of trust, you know, with your fellow vampires. So you know that they're giving you good advice on how you look. Yeah, black, I think. I think for a male body, you want to have a big, big pirate shirt and tight pants I always trust Deacon he's got a good eye and I think that he knows the kind of styles that I'm into not not Volvis he's got no idea you should wear this over top of the jacket that yeah. would look different no, I do my best to try and black, 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 tell the other guys um, what I think makes them look good or it's more flattering to them. Do you want a red tail sort of thing tonight or more yeah. a mullet? So I have a pancake foundation if you guys want to look less dead. Like, it uh, tries to make me look a little bit not so good so that he looks a bit better or something. You should wear your floral jacket, you really look good and your floral hey, the one you got in the 1980s. Tonight, uh, me and a couple of my vampire mates are going to town. We're just gonna go and have a look at the virgin, see if we can eat some. Get to the streets. Yeah, get to the Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah, no. ah. <laughs> Tonight is a good night, I can tell. Not know. Tonight is different for us because, of course, of the camera and everything. Yes, we're getting a lot of uh, attention. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, hello. 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 hello, hello, hello. You frighten me. Oh, oh, oh. oh cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. A lot of beautiful ladies are tonight. Yeah. The thing is, you probably be surprised by how many people are actually virgins. Come on! Virgin! Why virgins? I just like virgins. We can drink the blood of anyone, but I mean, there's nothing like virgin blood. It's the best. It's, it's worth waiting for, you know? You know why virgins is why... Uh, why a sandwich that someone hasn't already eaten? I'm a sweet transvestite. We're vampires. We're vampires, not transvestites. If you're a little bit different in this town, people, you know, they, they want to bring it down. They try to shoot you down a lot. Beggars! 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 Yes! Why do people have to call us baggage just because we have a camera? Yeah, let's meet. We're going to go to Zebos and meet up with Nick and maybe talk to a few girls. And maybe, like, they've got a jukebox there, so it's pretty cool. Well, it's 
three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm really tired. Zivos is closed, so there goes that. No virgins there. We just met up with Nick and his friends too. Uh, so we're probably gonna go down and uh, check out the Big Kumara. It's another bar down the road. Guys, we're gonna go to Big Kumara or what? I Deacon's going to go home. What? I'm very tired and I don't like rugby heads in the city calling me a gay. I don't like Z-Balls is closed and the boys are going out. I've got a sore throat. I don't think I... I think I need to sleep. Okay, I'll see you boys later, okay? I see you Deacon, I see you at home. Okay. Have a good rest. Fly, man. Get a taxi! Viago is just to talking to the bouncer, trying to try and get us into the bar because we're going to have a dance tonight. So, and, and hopefully, meet some women. He's got a boyfriend. It's harder when they have boyfriends. We came up here with my mate Stu, he's just a normal guy. We used to go to school together when I was a human, like two years ago before I got bitten by vampires. And he used to go out with my sister, and we kind of stayed close. So she broke up with him, but we, I still like him. We come here to the big Kumara business today or the Rattlers, I don't know what day it is. And there was this girl in there, and I tried to hook up with her, and she was pretty drunk, but I thought, all right, I'm in. And then I bit her, and she freaks out, and she runs off, and we they, we just have to leave, because there's like, big mess, this chick's like, bitten, and her boyfriend's angry at us. I just came out to have a good time, just have a, Unwind. I just want to go home. Well, it's the end of the night. I'm pretty drunk. I flew home, drunk. Feel stupid. Uh, yeah, Deacon, he went to bed. Bogus didn't come home. He uh, went to get prostitute. Well, not for uh, sex. And. I'm going to go to bed soon. It's nearly sunrise.
Le Marlequin. It's one of the hardest uh, guitar pieces in the world to play. I came to New Zealand uh, a while ago. A lot of shit was going down in my home country. I had a vampire rival that uh, I killed, which is a very big no-no in the vampire community. So I was uh, requested to leave. Also, a lot of shit was going down with my ex. A lot of drama that I did not want to be involved with. So I thought, I'm out of here. And uh, I had a couple of friends who were down in New Zealand. They said, you love it here? It's dark, it's rainy, come down. And so that's what I did. I got on the next boat. Three months later, boom, I'm here. I don't remember too much of my human life. I remember I was a very normal boy. I uh, like to stab people and uh, play. And then one day, my uh, parents gave me away to a band of gypsies. They uh, strapped me down, as was the custom of the time, and uh, drained me of blood. Then they all brought little goblets with vampire blood in it, and I had a little drink of that, and drink of that, and then later on, turned into a vampire, as you see. That was, so that was great. I uh, became a vampire when I was 16, and that is why I always look 16. In those days, of course, life was tough for a 16-year-old. So 16-year-olds tended to look about 40. Vampires hate 10 things. Sunlight, crucifixes, uh, holy water, priests, werewolves, uh, wooden stakes, especially in there. Uh, it said sunlight. Nightmares, because vampire nightmares are extra freaky. Backstabbers. Fakes, like people who are fake. And the Bible. My name's Anton, I'm a werewolf, and it's an affliction that I've had to deal with. Um, I've had it for eight years. Every full moon I transform. Um, me and the boys here, we're all a pack. We all suffer from the same infliction. It's a weird, I don't like calling it that, but it's uh, something we have to live with and it's something we have to deal with. My wife puts up with it. She, she's not happy with it, but it's something that happened uh, after we got married, and so for better or worse, she's with me now. Mostly worse. Mostly worse. Once a month, you know, she has her problems, I have mine. So once a month we, uh, we chain each other up, you know, we, we support each other. We know that the public, you know, could really suffer from, well, from us. So it's the last thing we want, so we, we, try, and, we try and stop that. It doesn't always work, you know. Um, there's been how many deaths this year from 13? It's definitely double figures. Been about 12, 13 deaths this year from us and we don't, we're not proud of that. But yeah, it's a, it's a support network and we really are trying to do our best to stop the death. The last thing anyone wants is a bunch of werewolves running around Wellington, you know, tearing people's heads off and we don't want that. I mean, we do it, but we don't enjoy it. And the next day when we see what, what's happened, we've, it's, it's worse than 
the, what's the feeling like, guys? It's like really bad hangover. Gutted, gutted. Yeah. Imagine your worst hangover ever, and then all of a sudden you then have to get drunk again immediately. Actually, that'd be probably be good thing to do, wouldn't Some it? Some people well, think that's a good way to get over it. It'd be like waking up and finding out you're David Bain, I suppose. Yeah, would be a way of looking at it. Yeah. Mm. So you wake up, if he was guilty. you know, you've had yeah. your worst dream ever where you've murdered someone, and you yeah. wake up, and you actually have. That's how we feel. Drawbacks? Well, they're countless. Um, sometimes we wake up in the middle of nowhere just with our undies on, or even with no undies, wondering what happened, you know. Was it a sexual encounter, or was it you know, a, a full-on attack. Um, sometimes you'll see bits of your clothing scattered across the city and uh, you just got to try and get back to your house. We find each other. We normally text each other and find out, you know, what sort of clothing have you got? Can you come and grab me? I need shorts, I need a t-shirt or, um, you know, you wake up, you find someone's head next to you and you realize, oh shit, that's me. I've, obviously, I did that last night. Do I recognize the head? No, thank God. Um, yeah. When you recognise the head, uh, the, the, the severed head, or even if someone's leg with a tattoo on it that you recognise, um, the feeling's just... it's revolting. It's a revolting feeling, being a werewolf the next day. On the night, it's amazing. The next day, it's revolting. It's a support network, and that's why we hang out together, because if we're on our own and it happens, there's no one there to, to stop it. And so, that's the brotherhood, looking after each other and making sure that the neighborhood stays, stays clean.